easy somebody would say hey ni leona umse anafanya hii mambo kama nimeenda kuona expert ni nini but for you you went through school of youtube which is an interesting thing mm -hmm. when you also talk about that business um, it stems down from the issue of also gender utakuta si maboys wengi sana mm -hmm. kwa hiyo business sana. ni mostly ni magal child ni nini yeah. how does it actually appeal to you not even just yourself now mm -hmm. your family and people taking you as you know a person who loves makeup you know a man who loves makeup mm -hmm. you know uh, looking good and what not does it actually come with some sort of like eh, when what's not happening i'm for you it's just a normal thing no for me right now it's a normal thing but when i started it was like an issue kidogo kwa watu actually was azongo aku and enjoy makeup ni nini oh your parents well, had no idea z. Right? Uh -huh. So mm, all kwa na jo anafanya music like wana na tu ni muziki. Yeah. But started doing makeup so mimi nilianza kujipaka kwa uso wangu. Oh so, you started it on yourself first. Yeah. Right. And that's how you loved it now. Yes, no I did it on my face but I was doing kazi mbaya sana. I was eh hey, paka nilikuwa na na trend ndani nimepaka vitu zingine huko wewe. Right. And then I was like ah. And then from that I just knew the right way to do about to go about it and then Right, Excuse I can see there's even a photo at the background. Uh, yeah. uh, oh, when was this? What happened this here? This was last year, actually. Okay. Mm. Right. This was last year. And I think year. this just photo was trending somehow. It got shared in several spaces. Yeah, because... Right, even picked up by a blog. Uh -huh. I was... What was I'll, happening here? <laughs> no, actually, just here, I was just doing a shoot. What okay. inspired me is the jacket I had. Eh? It was light. It was, it was a green. Right. Yeah, luminous green. And then I saw... Ah, and then I did... Then he kind of shoot in Kapiga. You go too. Like when I'm bored, I just make up. What some of the comments you got from this? Eh. Please, please, please tell us. Actually, this after I I I used to put a comment, Sana. The first makeup I did, I post with me myself with makeup. Where? Niliambio. Where? Sugar. Where? Nani? Where? Tuta kuwa. Where? Where? Right. Ah. But when and you that were was doing the first it, time, so uh -huh. it affected me mentally as well mm -hmm. and emotionally. And then but, but how did you survive it? Because you know, when you're trending, and I believe you're also a celebrity in some own kind of way, because mm -hmm. you work with the celebs as well and top stations. How did you survive that part? Because these are people contacting you, yeah. sending you texts, yeah. criticizing you yeah. as well. Yeah. It affected me because actually my friend alikuja kenambia, hey bro, relax, usijali, hii ni life too. Na, hii ni mtandao too. So, for a week, nilikuwa nimekatu kwa nyumba, like, during that time, siku wata anaingia online, nilikuwa nimekatu. Nilikuwa nashanga, sasa hii ni kazi gani nilijiingiza. Right. Mi nimekuja kutafuta do, and then I got myself into this shit, I was like, nikachoka, there was a point nikachoka na ayo. Mm. Yeah, but nika rudi, sasa nika sema, ah. Let's go back a little bit to yourself. Yeah. Uh, when, uh, when, when your parents, you said your parents took you to school to study. Like, yeah. was there a course that your parents wanted you to study before you yes, decide? I, uh -huh. I was actually supposed to do hospitality. Hospitality. Yeah, because right. I love cooking a lot. Okay. Yeah. Right. And then, then I saw like, this is just waste, wastage of time, eh? Because uh -huh. my parents. Haikuwa passion yako ama? Ilikuwa passion yangu lakini, uh -huh. ilikuwa na waste time, ilikuwa ndaka kitu ya araka. Or you yeah. wanted something that would get you money yeah, faster? Yeah, very fast. Because actually, actually, even when I was in high school, right. I didn't love But speaking studying. of high school, which high school? So that they know you're here? Yeah, I studied at... Uh, this school was called what? Hey, you, you can't was, even remember it. Was it. Usha, usha, said Zakaratina. Oh, okay. It was called Kiaridhaine. Oh, Kiaridhaine. Yeah, Kiaridhaine, boys. Oh, my producer says she knows that school as well. Okay. Yes, it was it was sides. Karatina, right? Yes, Karatina. Oh, is that where you grow we grew up is no, that? No, I grew up in Mombasa and then from Mombasa and then Nikaleto Shago ni some because Mombasa from is from Mombasa to What's not happening yeah. to you, man? <laughs> I know. Eh, hey, nimetembea. I'm from Mombasa, so from Mombasa right. nikambio, bon, we 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 is some okay huko enda Shago kakae na shosho yako usome. To lose a hype. Mm. <laughs> Nikiwa huko Right. Sasa they were getting cases kila siku ambe, hey, mtoto wako shule, biashara, biashara, na ufanya kazi biashara, bila some. Right. You see, he used to go uh, businesses. Kwa you were hogging stuff. Mm. Which were? Mandazis. Buwana. <laughs> I used to sneak out of school, go buy mandazis, mandazis come. And then he, yeah. So you, you had this entrepreneurial skill yeah. as early as, ni kama school ilikuwa uncomfortable yes, for you. Yes, sana. And right now you're making money out of this makeup business. Yeah, yeah. Love and, and and speaking of you know school, 
how did your uh, peers take you? Your friends who are like now high school, especially wakati okay, waliona una trend, wengine mm -hmm. unakuona kwa blogs, mm -hmm. wanakuona hapo oh, umepaka makeup, look at that uh, headshot <laughs> uh, photo behind you. What are they saying? Did they like, you know, move away from you? They wakasema ah, 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 huyo alishachukua life ingine atuwezani nayo. Hapana walikuwa tu sawa, walikuwa wewe fanya wewe that's you that's you. Actually okay. they wanted to sasa kujua na mimi vizuri cuz they like eh hey, yeah. feel na dunini eh siku hizi nakuwa na tu kwa ma tv nakuwa na tu na trend right yeah form ni gani no nikamwambia mimi ndio kitu nafanya siku hizi so long as it brings food on the table on the for table, me right. i'll do it All right mm. now speaking of food on the table wakati you did your first gig mm. i'm let's 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 go first to wakati you trended mm. and you're being uh, you're being seen some of these photos of yours are actually being served mm. a lot of ladies the slay ones who are mm. actually reaching out others you know reach out to the the male and the female ones female ones as well how was you how was the feedback from your dad and your mom wakati waliona umepaka hivi makeup on a trend lakini unaingiza pesa. And then wanaona eh mtoto wetu kuna mama wako hadi kupakadi eyelashes and make eyebrows. How did they react to no, this? Actually my parents are very supportive right now. Really? Yeah. They like we we fanya you be you. Kiona okay. unataka wasema unataka hii toxicity so long as inakusaidia. Right. We fanya kwa raha zako. Right. Yeah. So they are good. Yeah, they are right good. They are okay right now. They are Do you send them money? Even yes, yours. I do. What about your siblings now? Do you have like a sister, yes, brother? Yes, I have my brother actually. He's also he's a guy. Eh? Okay. Okay, okay, actually, brother is a guy. Yeah, sure, 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 sure. He's okay. bad at makeup. Oh, he's also a makeup artist yes. as, as you as well. He's bad. He's so it's a business bad. in the family. Actually, for me and my brother, yes. Yeah. Also two brothers only. Yes. No, we are like four brothers. Four, four brothers. No yeah. sister kabisa. A sister mdogo. Oh, the only he's sister. Two, right. one and a half years, two years right now. Oh, wow. She's, uh, Okay. So see me na brother yangu ndo tumeamua tuingie kwa makeup. Right. Yeah. And speaking of the makeup industry, how is it? Especially the mainstream one because even yeah. in your description you mentioned you have worked with the top stations, mm. you have won several awards as well. Mm. You're like the second in Kenya. Mm. You mentioned East Africa. Yeah. Right. It was uh, that time it was last year the awards uh, East African Fashion Awards. Okay. Yeah. So actually It was a time nilikuwa nimekuwa within among the big fishes makeup artist uh, yeah. like eh uh -huh. no ma so for me I, i used to like every day nilikuwa when i wake up lazima nifanye make eh, lazima nifanye look on my face oh just a, like mm. a bit face bit my yeah. face i walk around beat. town he nairobi cbd na makeup eh kutoka my studio that time was at Uh, view park towers I used to move from view park towers to nation center just walking like this yeah. hey, look at this one. look at this uh -huh. then from that i just blew up so it gave you that confidence as well of mm, being in a business that confidence, eh? yeah but you know people are giving you you know weird compliments yeah. others are judging mm. as well Mimi, how uh, does how does it make your heart feel especially when somebody sends very nasty comments and sometimes like you mentioned it even affected you yeah. at some point mentally in another yeah. case yeah. even just one text of somebody you know who doesn't know you yeah. sending crazy nasty comments about yeah. you and they don't know you yeah. it breaks you even mentally yeah true but right now eh me my parents my dad actually told me eh You just listen to what me and your mother will tell you. If we tell you iki tu unafanya ni mbaya ama it's if uko nje akikutukana wakwambie whatever words they'll tell you don't put it into your mind. All right. Let it enter here it okay up at the end. Yeah. Mm. And speaking of not letting it enter your mind, what was that point that you broke down and you cried? and you cried and and i love the fact that you know yesterday uh, on our monday show uh, we had a segment we have a segment called mcm we host men it's man talk where we talk about men and their issues and yesterday we were talking about if a man should cry or not and uh, one of my co-hosts who's uh, not here today said you know if it takes you to go to that moment where you can uh, and then you can dust yourself off and come back mm -hmm. it's still fine yeah, other than even crying in public it's true. now uh, let me get back to you again what was that moment that broke you down ulienda ukalia and then ukarudi na ukaendelea na biz eh your time at a ni mara mbili sasa hii happened twice okay first time in 
and then last this year 2020 starting of this year yeah like four months ago mm -hmm. the point ni meka chini yani ni kalia yani nilikuwa nimeambiwa hii wiki haishi kabla tujakuua wewe wacha kujifanya unajipaka makeup tunakujua kazi unashika vijana wadogo kwa hii mtao na eh wa wa nikaambiwa tuko na namba hadi ya mamako we know huyo sijui ni nani wana. i don't know who's the one texting me those so messages. these are texts mm. not phone calls not texts wa mm. when you try to locate that number i it got appointed it na locate your number hatuioni haiko hadi tuko haiko cuz in number nyingine funny funny right mm. eh for a week sikutoka saa kwa hiyo sikutoka kwa hao nyumba actually yeah. left where i was staying went mm -hmm. to stay at my Auntie's place. Auntie's place for mm. your safety. Mm. Wa. <laughs> Nilikuwa nimeshtuka na hiyo ndio time yenye tu sasa nimeanza kujulikana. Right. Unaona? Yeah. Eh, nilikuwa nimeogopa it, sana. Iko ikakuwa ika tough. Mm, ika, ika ni affect kidogo. Mm -hmm. But nikakaa hivi nikaona ai huyu jamaa labda hata nikunishtua ama labda ni, ni mtu uh, maybe someone who's trying to make me feel whatever yeah, I'm doing. Yeah, uh, yeah, just na niachane na story ya makeup tu. Right. Like a pana. Na ni passion yako ni kitu unapenda. Eh yeah, ni kitu unapenda. Yaani it has made you a lot of money. Good when I'm doing makeup. Yani nikiwa na stress hadi nikipaka makeup. Aha. Whatever I was stressed about kwanza inaisha. Inaisha inaenda. Inaisha. So it's therapy to you. Yeah, I love makeup. Like me, I love doing makeup. And speaking of therapy, uh before we get to some of the celebs you've worked with and even the top uh stations, um would you advocate for people to get up to get into this makeup business because it's competitive as well. Yeah. And uh you know seeing you who uh, managed to have done makeup to people or to faces like you know the Nano Witties, uh the can uh, Amberes as well, uh, artists like you know a masterpiece, would you advocate for men specifically to get into this business and i love the fact that you have perfected yours to that point that it's just extremely unique on its own way would you advocate for for men to actually get into this business yes I'll actually uh, tell one more inge kwa makeup bana okay mm. it has money. makeup it has it has money and makeup is one of the growing industry right now in in Whole. kitambo watu wako wanapaka makeup nowadays like everyone wants to do makeup everyone touch ups hadi nyie hapa mkikaa si mnapiga ngoma yeah, sure, sure, sure. for you guys to every look day. amazing yeah? Yeah, sure. like every girl like nowadays akita kwenda out makeup and for a guy dem akiona eh uchali anapaka makeup he'll actually approach you and be i want you to do my makeup right yeah? actually for us men eh, is it's an added advantages to us it's an, you feel like it's an added advantage yeah. if you do makeup yeah for real yeah sure cuz uh, and uh, i know of my friends who would be comfortable even to put an ever on their face they be like mwanaume ni kukauka kuparara unashawa na unaenda na kazi but you would say no let's break the narrative right yeah squeeze unapiga hata from from squeeze hadi wanaume wanafanya skin care routine yeah absolutely yeah, yeah. When absolutely. you wake up you do you moisturize your you face. Moisturize your face. Yeah, you look So you advocate amazing. for good uh, skin care routine. Yes, people routines. should look good. Yeah. People should Maybe look people good. nikipata pimple kwa uso. Yeah. yeah. It's like stress, you know stress, yeah. depression, bias. Bias. You just want perfect clear skin. Yeah, I need to look mm, baby amazing. boy. Baby amazing. Boy. Baby boy man. Perfect. Yeah. That confidence is what <laughs> I did, bro. Now, uh there's a good there's a good uh headshot of I think that is DJ Pierre McKenna. Yeah. who was also used to work here at some point um when was this and and uh, how, first of all how what is the name of this look as well oh, this is like a glam look yeah oh it's called a glam look yeah this is okay. last this year actually uh, this is this year yeah we did right. a shoot like four months five months ago right yeah so uh what happens to uh, before you get to this look for you to get such such a look yeah you just need to eyebrows nini but for this look eh, it's yeah. like for if you need to go out this is not like you cannot do, you cannot go to an, an office, office with this look with this kind of makeup yeah, it's a glam look maybe a dinner look yeah. or a party yeah, yeah a party yeah. Right? yeah lazima kay amazing also there's different types of makeup yeah, there's, there's different the types of, kind yeah. of makeup yeah there's day makeup date. there's yeah. night makeup there's bridal makeup there's or media makeup. makeup or media makeup yes right. and and speaking of media makeup, makeup you've also worked with top stations uh, as well mm -hmm. now uh, i've seen also this is who is this this is kate actress oh yes a uh, kate actress yeah. right uh-huh it was her birthday shoot this was her birthday shoot yeah uh -huh. did this look last year oh this was last year yeah 
And how do these celebrities actually come to you? Do they just call? Do yeah. they make phone calls? Yeah, they, Cause they, you they have call, quite a huge following. Yeah, on they call media. me and me I pick. I'm actually yeah. they text me they on text Instagram. Me, yeah. Actually, me I always check on my DMs every, every time, day. every time, every time. Right. Yeah. Right. And, 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 and I love that the, yeah, this is also no, quite this a is not this year. Oh, this is this year, right? Uh, All right. When, where was this? Was this an event? No, uh, yeah. He actually, she was going for an event eh, and uh, uh -huh. she was also doing a content shoot. So, right. Yeah, for a certain company. Right. So he called, she called me and just went. Do, and do. I can see you have that is lip gloss or lip balm. Yeah. That is lip balm. Mm. Right. Uh, it's what, good to moisturize your to lips. To moisturize your lips, mm. man. I, I'm, I'm learning this skill. But though, when you put on maybe a different color shade, because I know it can change your, 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 your look as well, mm -hmm. would you walk in town like you chop a red one and you walk in town? Of course. Why not? Well, people be looking it's at you and be like, they want to follow you, no, others want my, to beat it's, you. It's my life. I'm happy. Right. So long as whatever I'm doing, I'm happy. You right. always told her, do whatever makes you happy. Okay. Your happiness matters than nothing else, than anything else in this world. All right. Mm -hmm. Right. No, that's this my is brother. You as well? No, oh, that's my brother. Now. This is your blood brother. Yeah. Okay. And he did that. So is there a name for this look now? This is a creative look. Okay, it's called creative because yeah. I can see it has a flag, stars. There's a branch of some sort of <laughs> leaf. Yeah, this is a creative look. This okay. is the first time of him doing makeup. And when I used to do makeup, eh, when yeah. he was in high school, eh, he used to tell me, Phil, uh -uh, whatever you're doing, a pana. Right. Nini niyo. Uh -huh. Nowadays, he's the one. He's the one running. Yeah. Yeah, uh -huh. <laughs> So uh, I'm, I'm, I'm just amazed at how you know you started this thing for yourself, mm -hmm. and all of a sudden it's picking up, and mm -hmm. you know your dad. Uh, but the, speaking of dads, is your dad supportive in this journey? Because mm -hmm. I know most dads will be like, "Eh, hey, mtoto wangu kijana na paka makeup wapi?" Baba ngo ako sawa kabisa yani. Right. So, I'm back. Uh, online, uh, like uh, social media. Social media. Squeeze. Yani, I'm ingi. I'm back. I Like he wants to see me what I'm doing. Yeah. Like to me, a picture. I sent to him. He posts kwa status. Kwa status yak. Yeah. I'm proud. This I'm is my son. He's yeah. he's proud of me. Right. Mm. Uh, Kush Tracy. I can see this is Kush Tracy. Yeah. We used to. Hey, Kush Tracy. We've come along. We used to work with her. Uh huh. At Switch. I used okay. to work there. Right, yeah. left, uh, okay. So let's do whatever. Uh, is this a TV look now? Media look? No, it's not a media look. Uh -huh. This is also like, um, let's say, like a creative look because of the eyes. Eh? Oh, the eyes so are more we used to uh, uh -huh. we, we wanted to match her earrings and the eyes. Earrings and the eyes. Yeah. Actually, oh, about also there's there's that you know merging of yes, if you have yes, so a about, certain lip, mm, it must match with the yeah, eyes. So like and the, uh -huh. about makeup, eh? Right. You're just trying to be creative in your okay. own way. Yeah? Oh. If you maybe you're wearing a certain color of cloth, eh? right. you want to put a uh, it blend it with, blend it with you know, the makeup, eh? accessories. Just, yeah. yeah. So it must go. So you know how to balance the makeup on the face. Yeah, it's like also matching well. clothes. So oh. you have yellow na yellow and then yellow. chinook on a red. Yeah, I'm like lazima uke sunakasa evilo me match. Right. Okay. Yeah, like lazima uke fit. The color blend. Kama ni yeah. white na black, una piga white black. Okay. Zone zina pop sana and then. Yeah, if your eyes are popping, you make sure your lips is toned down. Oh, it's called toning. Yeah, you you tone down your lips. Eh? Okay. If you are if you have a red lipstick, you tone down the eyeshadow. Oh, the eyeshadow now. Yeah. yeah. See, we pack a red. Look, we nap on pack a red. Okay. Taka weird, huh? Yeah. Taka like. Taka ghost. Taka ghosts. Right. Yeah. Uh, and and speaking of speaking of toning down, mm -hmm. um, if for example somebody wants you to come and do makeup on them, mm -hmm. uh, how much are you charging as well? Like a whole package of it. Yeah, for so example, at weddings, events, mm -hmm. um, media as well. Yeah. Yeah. So like there's uh, there are different kinds of makeup. Yep. Okay. Kuna kuna all anataka just minimal makeup, and there's full makeup that include eyelashes. So for full makeup, that goes for four five. All right. Yeah. For just a simple look, that goes for three, five. All right. Yeah. For bridal makeup, that goes for, for bride, that goes for 10K. Bridal. Yeah. That's the only way you want to wedding. Yeah, baby Arusi, because look at yeah, baby Arusi, it's different. Kabisa, yeah, na? No, but you want to wear makeup? Mm, you want to wear makeup, you want to wear touch-ups. Right. Yeah. I, I can see this is Ambaray. The, the, the no, 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 this is not Ambaray. This is not Ambaray? No. This is who? 
this is actually it was my shoot uh she was miss universe sure yeah she was doing oh this did. is miss universe yeah uh, he was he was among the people oh, okay yeah at, at that show so it and okay and then i just posted it right now you can danga if you can danga mm you can if you can danga and speaking of that who are some of the celebs that you have worked with in the social in the in the entertainment uh space as well that continue to support you that mm -hmm. you say how about to tunafanya nao kazi uh ni mark na wengi like paka sai bado tu tuna work na wao if they need makeup they just call me okay. i just go are there a few that are loyal yeah of course that come very often that you can mention yeah like Jackie Matubia like her birthday just last last week Right. I'm the one who did her is makeup. This the look? No, this is not the look we did. Okay. This was last year's birthday. Oh, okay. Like for her? Right. I was if I knew uh bath or during birthday Zaki and Apenda. This this is now last last this week's last, last week's. Yeah. I can't this even week's. tell the difference between the last year and this. You can uh, from the eyes. No, no, this is a stones on the eyes, eh? Oh, those are stones. Yeah. Like real stones or <laughs> no like stones zile zina kago kwa makeup to like for oh, you being right. creative it's like uh, glitter cuz i yeah, see it's glittering glitter right? like ni hizi si glitters hizi ni okay. stones yeah and i can see the the nails zina fana na kidogo na some yeah, and some bolo hapo kwa dress chini yeah, yeah. so unaangalia tu combination ya yeah, nini watu kama ku stress mpaka sasa hivi wanakuja tu na wapaka makeup right yeah what's the difference too Okay. Now oh, when it comes to even um the government uh the, the government kulikuwa kuna kuna rules zenye zina regulate even in terms of even content now use it they are saying they will not allow people to act in some certain type of way. Do you feel like itaku itakuweka to a spot where it limit business yako? I don't think so itani kwa ina spot where it limit job yangu cuz uh -huh. Mostly mimi upaka nini? Uh, naweza kosa okay wakisema hivyo naweza uh, kosa kujipaka makeup uh -huh. but, but clients wangu clients, yeah. they need my services because right now when I've point yenye I don't need to apply my face makeup, makeup so that people know I do makeup all right people so really you used knew. to apply so that people yes, know yes i used to so market you are, using your my business face. using your face all yeah. but now people misunderstood you akaanza kusema vitu zingine mm. right actually there was a time this picture this was the time now was trending because of makeup right so we took this picture and jealous and then where was this uh, it was at uh, our friend's place in kilimani okay so we did it we had like something there aka post picture and aka post kalete mtu aka comment up mtu aka comment up chini aka sema sipendi hiyo jamaa vile i don't like that guy the way he does his makeup aha uh -huh. yeah so actually jalango went ahead and aka clarify aka nitetea hapo chini jalasa le delete photo ama bado iko kwa jia no bado iko tu aka nitetea hapo chini akaambia we shughulika na maisha yako nunua sukuma ingia kwa nyumba pika na ukule ulale hey. you know <laughs> like don't focus people's life too much right. yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. kama ikufurahishi ikufurahishi okay yeah Now when it comes to the business every business has its competitors yeah. and every, every business has its downside and what not in your business who are some of the people that you compete a lot with and if at all do they like you know give you that competition to a point it's giving you a run for your money ready to a point you're like I have to up my game so that I get the latest trend in makeup you look at you know the fashion events come as like in a met gala utaona mm. kuna TV shows that they review makeup like If they're reviewing a Beyonce look they are going from the shoes yeah. to the dress to the pose to the even standing itself like yeah. it's a whole commercial world about you know makeup and beauty. Now in that aspect in Kenya do you feel like there's enough competition and if yes maybe what are some of the some of the you know places that you get high competition as well? Uh like for me uh the people I work with uh, the other makeup artists here in Kenya. Hey. Uh I don't take them like they are my friends eh? but I always also look up to them eh? right. like wanafanya nini what are they doing are there ones that you can mention though like that Fuina. you compete uh -huh. or Foina yeah, yeah. Foina Foina she's also she's, famous in her own yeah, way she's you know? actually my friend actually okay. Foina also sometimes calls me to go teach her students right or oh, she makeup. has a college yeah she has a college too all right go show them my skills how i go about my makeup your blending yeah okay. also Dennis Karuri <clears throat> he's also my friend eh? So oh, Dennis Karuri. Yeah, he's also okay. one of the best makeup artists we have in Kenya, right? Yeah. 
I also go to his studio. We do one and two. Yeah. And speaking of studio, you mentioned you have a studio by name Philo Philo Philodre Fildo Creations. Oh, Fildo Creations. Yeah, Fildo Creations. Is it like a TV studio or a makeup studio? No, it's a makeup studio. Right. Yeah, Fildo Creations. Eh? Right. So it's, where is it located? I don't know. It's at uh, USIU USIU okay. Road. The first, uh, it's at uh, that building is called Safari Business Arcade. Okay. Yeah, Safari Business Arcade. Right. When you come there. Just ask for Phil. Right. They know you as Phil. Right. Yeah. When you come there, just ask for them. Need makeup? Kujapo. For those people who are around that area. Yeah. Um, just come. Well, good job. Mm -hmm. And you mentioned you uh, you are also a musician. So uh, would you say you'll go back to your music thing as well? Because you know people start off differently. Kuna msema nyata sema eh. Millions are come a pastor, but excuse me, me a motivational speak. Yeah, um, there's even people who started off as rappers, yeah. and they're now very famous pastors as yeah, well. True. So for you, you started off as a musician. Now, which is now makeup yeah. that put you on the map. Yeah. yeah. No, I can. Uh, okay, I'm not saying I can never go back to singing, but okay. right now it's not like my Your priority. priority. Yeah. Uh -huh. But I usually I used to sing. I used to be a very bad gospel rapper. Yeah? Okay. Eh hey, wewe wacha bana. Na mabaibo vance pale kale. Mm, Niko na piga hapo mistari moja alafu unajua nilikuwa naimba na ile kiaccent kia mom, pale Mombasa. Ya Mombasa. Nimetoka tu Mombasa hivi alafu nakuja hapa na piga rap moja mbili tatu. Okay. So after hapo ndo nika eh nikapatana na King Kaka nini nini nini. Eh. Yeah. Right. Then from there but music is good but it needs a lot. So for me I saw hapana hisi kitu yangu. Au ipendi. Then I yeah. found my your passion. My passion yeah. in... And speaking of passion, uh, to mention Kusu feedback, at some point to listen to break down Kalia. Mm -hmm. Do you think in Kenya uh, people just troll? Waki wana kitoa like ama kitoa wezifanya, wana kupa tu feedback kenye, ita ku break down. And uh, wewe, how have you managed to actually, you know, stay afloat emotionally? Because when you every day you can receive comments that mtu wana kutukana, it gets to your heart. And you mentioned you had to take a break, you had cry, you had to run for your safety. Okay, me, whatever I can say, like, okay, in Kenya, what one on Giaga online, eh, they'll talk anything they want to talk. Okay. Yeah? Uyo mtu menya meandika, whatever meandika, uyo commenta meandika hapo, it will get to a point to a jama, ama, ama uyo mtu meandika, uyo comment, eh, the negative comment, eh, atataka, maybe wife yake, atetaji makeup siku moja. One day, there was a point to it afika. Eh? Yeah. Atakuwa, eh, Nilongelea viba kusui makeup. Sasa naitaji makeup. Like never talk bad thing bad. about something. Because eh? mm -hmm. utakuja kuitaji. Unawana? Right. Yeah. Uh -huh. So in short, the haters. <laughs> the haters continue hating. <laughs> uh -huh. Since you guys are the people who's making me to keep up. To keep going. Yeah. Okay. And speaking of haters, you hung out with a lot of some of these celebrities. Yeah. Many of them are countless. How do your parents actually take? Take it. Are they like, ah, oh, mtu tuyoto lingia kwa hibi ya shara, akanza kupigwa na mambo ya starehe? Ama they just love the money part, wewe kisha watu miya pesa, wame nya mazaji, and no. life continues. No, like, wako sawa tu, yani imagine, they, they always check up on me, ukwaji ukupoa, ye, hey, ukona nini leo, nambia haya, ngalia haya mpesa. Kama, hakuna mambia, ye, hey, dad, we, nimefanya nimetumia hii na hii, sawa, tuangalia kesho nikona, client anakami, nikimaliza na, kusukumia. Like wana frayanga wana keep up na mimi. Like wana jua kenya na do, wana jua niko hapi na fanya nini. And they are protective as well. Yeah, they are. Okay. So there was an interview you did with President Ali and mm -hmm. you clarified some things in there because I'm a kunawati you no longer work with them anymore. Maybe because of personal issues. Some of them you are friends with. Mm -hmm. And uh, you kuna one, two, three mulidifa hapa na pale but you are no longer. Uh, what was actually the main reason as to why maybe uliachana na some people? And you decided to conduct a viaco and a mamboyaco. Actually, see, okay, kuna joko na pointi na fikanga unona. You need to go a bit higher. Kidogama, you need to go in a different direction. Una mwa tu, acha ni acha ni tu na. Si tu na ambia ati yapana sita yapana. You just move slowly, fed away. Slowly, yeah. Una acha tu. Kupigi ona mbaya. Ah, si zizi patikana ni ni. Yeah. Right. If you see someone will bring you down, eh? Una zama. Do you know what was happening behind the scenes? Were you guys beefing, fighting, competition, jealousy? Amani hizo zote hata. 
Ah, ni useme ni life in general tu. Okay. Yeah, life in general tu. Right. Yeah. Right. And would you say you're better now, even in terms of business? Because na kumbuka time when the COVID-19 pandemic came, yeah. all businesses were shaken as well. Yeah. Kuna zile companies zanya walikuwa maandika watu, ikabida wa maambi wa ende home. Yeah. Kuna wale watu wadi walikuwa affected individually kama uh, yours as well. I don't know if you were affected, Very but badly. I would just like to know maybe if COVID-19 shook you and maybe have you recovered yet? Yeah, I used to have a studio up at Kimathi House. Okay. Then COVID ikakuja. Right ilikuwa feb hapo kwanza eh hey, i like akukuwa na hadi studio ika nikafunga studio right i had to close down the studio kapeana kila kitu so nilikuwa na freelance yeah then kukaka nikapata na best yangu tukashikana yet aka tukafungua studio nyingine but right now sasa niko better sasa niko poa you say you're good the yeah. money is coming in yeah right now is job flow so you kuna clients uh, there's flowing of clients kuna weddings yeah. you know you actually during the uh, market market yeah. kenda kuisha okay kuna kwa gana weddings, weddings mingi, mingi clients Rurashio. shows yani yeah. kuna kwa na vitu mingi sana watu wanataka make up right yeah. and speaking of that uh, have you employed some people do you have like people who work with you at your place that so, you say you pay them a salary so like we, I, i work i have assistants eh? like whatever niki so when you ni meenda kwa wedding i have a wedding yeah I okay. cannot go alone so I go with some two peoples and also students when you train after my mother's training kuna watu wao niambia they want to like work with the best students like when you najua they are perfect or will kuna train poor right. then i refer them and then they get jobs right yeah right because i also realized i was actually checking online there's there's just somebody who has specialized in eyelashes He's also a guy like Kazeke to eye lashes hey, as, he, yeah, as yeah. he is meeting people the, the same people you are meeting as yeah, well. Yeah, true. Yeah, it's also three. another kind of makeup art business as yeah, well. Yeah, actually beauty, beauty is all rounded. Eh? Okay. There's someone who will just focus on the eyebrows eh? right. ile ku microblade. Oh, it's yeah. called microblading. Yeah, microblading. That means you are like you tattooing your eyebrows. Oh, okay. Yeah, for it to stay like for certain years and then right. in Aisha. Uh -huh. Nolia me specify tu na lashes peke yake. Right. Yeah, so for me ni me specify like na the beauty. Beauty backup. The face makeup, beat. Face short. beat. Eh. Right. Uh -huh. Ile to bring I'm out. Ngono leo uje chapa face beat bro na ulisema. Bana <laughs> singe kuja hapa na face beat. Leo leo nataka mnione natural. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so so there you. Mgeni ambie mnataka nikuje nipanga hapa hivi tukipiga lashes. Interview mimi niko hapa. Wewe eh. unajipaka tu. I wish that would have been possible. Now, uh, speaking of that, uh, yeah, Jana, we, we are almost uh, closing up. Jana, we had a conversation on our segment I mentioned to you, MCM, and we were talking about, you know, a man having support, my boy child wanna go through, mambo mengi sana, kikuja pale depression, nini mm -hmm. nini. And uh, one of the guys said, sometimes, ni vizuri, kwa na role model, as a father figure, mwenye atakusho, this is how to be a man, this is yeah. how you go about with manhood, yeah. this is how you deal with relationships and women. In your experience as well, as a male makeup artist um do you feel like you know every man needs a man you know kind of figure to actually you know show him that this is how you go about being a man or a boy child as well uh, for me uh, not really for me no you don't need a father figure no for me no me my, my father is if in case i need to confirm, confirm or something if, or you need uh -huh. to talk to a man i'll just call my father because hapa nje nikisema you need to look like, nataka kuwa huyu maybe anikuwa na anani motivate ama right me maybe i'm doing something different yenye hata hawezi penda right get cause mimi actually watu wengi wenye uni criticize ni wanaume au yeah. si wanawake si wanawake so your biggest fan fan base are women and yeah, not women. men so for me uh, for men eh, right ni ngumu sana ukute cause hizi elewa kenye mimi nafanya Uh, and would you yeah. say that has made you feel resentful some type of way in akufanyani au take hata ku interact na men a lot it's only women no not really i interact with men eh? okay. but siko sana cuz yeah cuz you feel like kuna wenye wataka mwa criticize kazi yako uh, ikufanya uko unhappy for uh, nothing but wenye ni wenye najua we have we are Very friends we are closer. close they know what i do they always motivate me they always talk to me Right. But ni ngumu sana upate nikipatana na then it's just it's hard for me most of my friends are 
ladies. Ladies, right. Because yeah. Cause they even love, name. they just want to be friends yeah. with you so that Wapa can me, make a part. Because me, fanbase yangu yiku kwa madame. Pekia, okay. Job yangu ni madame. Okay, right. see it in my dream. Like, job yangu ni face. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, girls okay. doing makeup. Eh. And speaking of that, still on matters mental health, you mentioned bro, uli breakdown, we buy a sana mm. And uh, since also September yeah. is a suicide prevention month, it's marked on every 10th of September annually worldwide. And it's also a day that talks about, you know, mental health awareness. How can we create spaces in your uh, A safer environment in your own. communicate how they feel. They talk authentically about, you know, the things they are going through. And even in your experience, you breaking down what you could control and could bully, do you feel like we need a space, even for men, where they can, you know, find a place where they can go to, share their pain, share what they are going through and come out when they are better? Yeah, it's true. As for men, we also need kuna point in Afikaga unona, unajua ukifungia kitu sana kitu inakusumbua. And for like, wanaume, wanakuaga, Apana, mini maname, naka right. nini. Uh -uh. If you need to cry, cry. If you need to talk to someone, talk to someone. You know, like in, like in three months this year, three months, juzi juzi tu, right. kuna likuwa nimekatu na mabeshte wangu, my boys, na we are somewhere out, eh? I told them, by the way guys, kuna kitu nanisumbua, I need to talk to you. Wana mbe, apana, we, wacha umelewa, you, kunyo, umekunyo sana, nini. Ah, okay, wakasema, tuende home. We went to, went, uh, tukachukua BNB, tukalala. Ah, tulikuwa tuendele na shere. Okay. Tukendele na shere, nikawambia, ah, pana, siko sawa manzia, nambia, pana, wende ulale. So I went to sleep, kwa room. Nikio nimejeke levi, machozi kanza kutoka. I woke up, nikapata wa makeup, nikambia, I'm still not okay. I opened the door, I went uh, kwa barabara. I took my phone and started going live. Eh? No, I posted, guys, I'm not okay, I just need someone to talk to. Right. Masimu zika pigwa nini? So I switched off my phone because I knew Masimu zitanza kuingi hapa. So I went live by IG ni kasema, guys I'm not okay. I was crying. Like zi eti nalia kutaka, like na feel siko sawa. Uwa tu na feel hauko sawa. Mm. Uh. Do you yeah. have like a pastor maybe you go to for help and akuombea nini nini? Your mom as well? Uh, my mom always prays for me, uh, very, okay. every day. Prayers uh, of a mother, right? Yeah, uh, mbaya. Because right. I believe in her prayers because at a time, I was very sick. I was supposed to go for an operation. Right. Then she just prayed for me and I didn't go. Yeah. So the prayers of a mother do work? A lot. My right. mom always prays for me. And I'm going to go to yeah. Sorry, I'm told our time is up, but uh, just a quick one before you say your social media and where people can find you and where you are accessible at. What is the craziest thing you've ever done? You're going to say, hey, you look crazy, but craziest thing? Yeah. I don't think that, I don't think there's craziest thing I've ever done. Stop playing self, boy. For real? Stop playing self. Okay. I don't, I don't think there's craziest thing I've ever done. All right. Yeah. Would you rather die young or live forever young? I live forever young. Live forever young. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> which which other which other which other crazy? One? Would you rather have a mind that actually sees what everyone talks about mm -hmm. you, mm -hmm. especially at your country, mm -hmm. or just be numb and never hear anything and keep on going? Eh, uh, <laughs> I too numb. I will. I Right. Afadhali ni kufe ni kijua muna, muna ongele ya mkisema, muna, muna ti, mm. right. kuliko ni fikiri ya ti. Uyo naeza kuwana ni fikiri ya nini sasa. Okay. Yeah. Uh, you mentioned Dennis Karuri as your exit, sorry. Uh, are you still working with him? Will you still work with him? Yeah, we, we, we friends. We you friends. talk? Yeah, right? we talk, yeah. Okay. Talk, yeah. So you're bros, you're still, you're still tight. Yeah, no. So. Yeah. And if people want to access you, book you, where can they find you as you exit? Uh, you guys can find me at Instagram, Creative Feel. Just DM me. My number is there. Call me. Uh, which, is, which is the number? Uh, number is 0757006792. It's on my bio. Or that's, just DM me. Okay, that's also your WhatsApp number. Yeah, that's also my WhatsApp number. All right. Yeah. So, so thank you so much uh, for coming through, Phil. And uh, we hope to work with you soon. So please, to keep going, see you soon. Next time.
again. So, so thank you so much for hanging out with us. That has been Creative Field. You can call him Philip Muriti. That is the, the, the real name on his ID, right? Okay, for hanging out with us on Entrepreneurship Tuesday. And I think we'll call it a day. Continue to interact with us on the hashtag why in the morning. Segment is Entrepreneurship Tuesday. And you can also find me at Brian Sako 101 is my handle on all social media platforms, Facebook and Twitter as well. Our station's handle is at Y254 channel, www.kbc.co forward slash Y254 is our website. Thank you so much for watching. On behalf of Ram and everyone behind the scenes, I say thank you so much for watching. See you again next time right here on Y in the Morning.